If you're worried you've contracted COVID-19, that's the disease caused by the novel coronavirus, don't just rush off and see your doctor, at least not right away. It seems counterintuitive, but health departments across the country are urging people with symptoms to call their doctors instead of heading to an emergency room or urgent care facility. This lets doctors better determine if someone is sick with coronavirus and whether they need testing. In addition, the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization are both encouraging people to use telemedicine options like American Well, Bui, or Doctor on Demand. Many hospitals offer virtual clinics as well. The benefit of calling ahead or going online is twofold. One, it keeps anyone who is sick from spreading their illness, be it the flu, a cold, or coronavirus. And two, it can give physicians and nurses more time to devote to those with more severe symptoms. A new form of telemedicine is being quickly developed and tested in Silicon Valley. Verily is debuting a coronavirus risk screening and testing website. Think of this as digital telemedicine. The online tool will triage people and direct those who are eligible to mobile testing sites. The website leverages Verily's existing health data platforms and was developed in partnership with the state of California. For now, the reach of the project is limited, but Verily intends to eventually scale the capacity as more testing kits and sites become available. Every evaluation for coronavirus starts with basic health questions and a description of symptoms. Next, the patient is asked for biometric data like heart rate and temperature. If one has a fever and an elevated heart rate, that might signal the possibility of developing respiratory distress. For patients with low acuity symptoms, physicians recommend simply monitoring and treating the symptoms. All of the assessment options will help to track those suspected of having coronavirus, so agencies like state health departments and the CDC can monitor the outbreak. Many cases of coronavirus are actually mild or even asymptomatic, making this an unfortunate double-edged sword. An infected person who shows no symptoms and thinks they probably don't need to be tested could venture out in public and infect others. That makes the need for social distancing that much more important. And because the virus can circulate undetected, researchers expect that a large number of people have the virus but haven't been tested. Still, not everyone needs to get tested. So currently, testing for the new coronavirus is not provided on request by members of the public. With shortages of test kits expected, only those who meet certain criteria can be tested. While the promise of telemedicine is that it will keep more sick people at home and hopefully keep a lot of people from panicking, there are some issues. Unfortunately, this approach shuts out anyone who doesn't have the tech savvy or gear to do a virtual chat with a doctor. The coronavirus may spur more Americans toward telemedicine, but since it could still leave some of the most vulnerable behind, it's critical that those who can use it do so in order to leave hospitals, clinics, and specialized testing centers free to attend those who need it most.